Welcome back to the Cards franchise and the GSN. Today, the Cardinals, the Yankees, the two teams with the most World Series championships in the history of baseball are going to do battle. So one versus two. Cardinals at home in the rain in the opener. Should be a pretty fun matchup. On the bump for the Cardinals, Jack Flaherty, their young stud, went healthy. On the bump for the Yankees, former Astro, former Pirate, Cy Young candidate, Gary Cole. And let me tell you, they both lived up to their billing as the top of the rotation because Cole was dominant, as was Jack. You see, Arenado, with a full count in the bottom of the fourth, he's going to go yard. That breaks the scoreless tie. That also keeps his hit streak alive. So let's keep that in mind. As Arnetto hits his 27th home run. One of the few mistakes that Cole made on the day. Cole on the day. One run. Six innings, three hits. Six strikeouts, pretty dominant. The fifth, Flaherty. See there? A ground out. He also was pretty good. He pitched six innings as well. Four strikeouts. Five hits. And let's get, talk about that sixth inning. DJ LeMahieu in a one nothing game. Leading off the top of the six. Just clears the wall. That's going to be a home run. Solo shot to tie the game in his 16th of the season. Two batters later. Giancarlo Stanton with a Stantonian blast. That ball is going to go out 420 feet to left as well. So, Flair, you're saying six innings, five hits, two runs, two solo shots. Clay Holmes would come in in the ninth. It's had a really low-scoring game, not a lot going on. In the ninth, Carlson leads off. And, I mean, it's not the way you want to get on base, but it works. He gets beaned. That gives the Cardinals a runner, so it gives them something to work with. Hadn't had too many of them in the game. But Arenado grounds into the 6-4-3. And the Yankees win. They take the series opener. Nine combined hits by the teams. Both bullpens pitch really well. Six combined innings for the pen. Only one hit allowed. Going on to game two. Much clearer skies in this one. But the Cardinals looking to even this one up. And they would get... A nice kind of mound. We're going to spotlight Aaron Judge before we get to Wayno. Judge. Not having the season that he quite had in real life, but still pretty solid. Batting 297, 19 home runs, 59 runs batted in. You'd guess probably his RBIs being low may have something to do with the Yankees being around 500 record wise. But Rizzo in the fourth, off of Wainwright. Shocker. A former Cub. Who's done, he had tons of the bats against Wainwright, I'm sure. Drives in the RBI on the single. Wayno dances out of trouble. Looks like it could be a big hit there, but it's just a fly out to right. In the bottom half, Arenado off of Luis Severino. He gets his first hit of the game, and that's going to extend his hit streak to 17. Later on that inning, let you know it really did some good. Cart. I want to say the ex Yankee, but I guess in this alternate timeline, he never really was. But he's going to go yard starting the second half of the season off with a bang. His 24th home run of the season, Cardinals, 3 to 1. And jumping ahead to the eighth, Goldie. Shooting one out to the bullpen, that's going to drop in there and go. So he also will touch them all. Goldsmith. Home run number 31. Giving Guy goes a little more to work with. 42 of his last 48. See that batting average against right? He's trending towards 300. So finally starting to go down. And he had a good outing. A 1-2-3 inning. Gets Bader to fly out to left. And the Cardinals will even up the series 4-1. to one. So the 
Cardinals still didn't hit well in this game. Five hits, seven hits for the Yankees. Wainwright though, pretty good. Six and a third, seven hits, one run, three strikeouts. His 15th win of the season, Gallegos a clean ninth for his 43rd save. Severino, three hits and three runs over five innings. He also did have three walks. For the cards, Arnado did have two hits, so he had two of the five. For the Yankees, Judge and Bader are the only ones to not have hits. Everyone else in the lineup did have a hit. And now the rubber match. This would definitely see, uh, we'll just say there was more scoring in this outing than in the others. So on the bottom of the first, start with Goldsmith. He's going to ground out, but that will drive in a run. And one nothing St. Louis. In the second, Carlson with runners on second and third, two outs. Two out battings, very, very important. Carlson comes through there. That's going to drive in two. A three nothing game. Mind you, two outs. Tyler O'Neill, bases loaded. So the Cardinals work the bases loaded, and he's going to send one out to our deep right field. And that is going to go. Drops into the bullpen off Otako. His 39th, and a big lead. Grand slam for O'Neill. That's going to lead to a six. That caps off a six run inning. And the Cardinals comfortably ahead. Meanwhile, on the bump, Miles Michaelis, dominant. A full nine innings, seven hits, four strikeouts. Going to the six. New par. He's going to send one out to the right field, tucking it in the corner. Lucky number 13 for Lars. Eight nothing. Goldie. Send one out to left. Going up her deck. Doesn't do that very often. Goldie, his 32nd home run. So back-to-back -back games with home runs. Arenado already extended his hit streak. Or, sorry, did not extend his hit streak. It looks like he's coming down to his last at-bat. It is out of reach. That's going to clear the wall. His 28th. So three solo shots in the sixth. And he's able to keep his hit streak alive. On to the ninth. You can see Judge didn't do a ton of damage in the series. But he gets Miles there. So he's not able to get the complete game shutout. Two run home run for Mr. Judge. All rise. But later on, a weak line out to first. And the Cardinals take the game and the series. Two to one. Tie on. One and two thirds inning, seven runs, six hits. That hit pretty hard. Does happen. Carlson and Goldie with three hits and Newbar. So 12 hits for the Cardinals, nine of them coming from those three players. Up next, the Cardinals travel to Colorado, take on Arenado's former team, the Rockies. We'll check in with you next episode. Thanks for watching.